Being a videographer, you get to work on all sorts of content, either if it's online or offline. Nowadays, clients require you to have your footages live streamed online, regardless you're doing corporate videos, live events, or even setting up your own live talkback show, which you want to stream online to different platforms, such as Facebook, YouTube, even Skype for meetings, whichever it may be, for rehearsals or whatever it may be. So let's have a look at Blackmagic's Atom Mini Controller and see how this can change the way we live stream. I've used many systems in past for live streaming, yet Blackmagic's Atom Mini Controller has to be the smallest and the cutest system that is available right now. For me to be able to connect up to four cameras, four independent cameras and live stream according to how I like. So now let's have a look at this self-contained quality broadcast switcher and the functionalities that it provides on this panel. It's got two stereo microphone inputs, four HDMI inputs, HDMI output, webcam output, ATEM controller and power. Four HDMI inputs allows you to connect up to four individual cameras and control them and have them live streamed. So looking at this clean panel, you have on and off buttons for the mic one and mic two inputs, the stereo inputs. You can also adjust your levels of microphone as well. So you can have it on, which changes the color to red, or you can have it off. Now, apart from that, you have one, two, three, and four. So as you can see, I've got four cameras connected here. I'll show you what's behind me as well. So this is camera one, which is up here. This is camera two, which is on the side right here. Camera three, which is right in front of me. And then camera four, which is behind me. So that is how I've got my setup done here today. And I'm gonna show you how this entirely works. Having a look at this panel, we have four HDMI inputs. The option for each HDMI inputs include audio follow video, a reset button, on and off. So once you have audio follow video on, what it allows you to do is you have four channels, there's four audio inputs from different cameras coming through the HDMI signal. So if you wanted to live stream the audio coming from each HDMI signal from different cameras, you can actually press audio follow video. So if I have audio follow video on on all the four channels, when I'm switching, the audio is also going to change between each cameras. So this is perfect when you're doing interview setups with different hosts. So let's say number one, so let's say input one includes host number one doing an interview for someone else. Input number two has host number two doing an interview for someone else. Input number three and input number four, so on. So this allows you not to only carry on the signal for video, but also for the audio. For this instant, I'm gonna leave it off as my audio is getting directly recorded to the A camera in front of me where I'll be mixing this later on. We have the option of having picture in motion. So let's just say I have my main camera on and if I wanted to have this top camera on the top left hand side, I would just select the top left hand side and press it on. So now we have this front camera and this top camera on the same screen. They are transition built into this system. So you don't have to fiddle around with softwares or additional modules to be able to do that. Having this functionality and also being able to choose the duration such as half a second, one second, 1.5 second and two second allows you to choose how fast the transition is gonna happen between the four cameras. So now you can see how easy it is to mix all of this footage together from the front camera to the top camera to the side camera. Out of the six transitions built into this unit, my favorite has to be the mix, which is very similar to Cross Dissolve. Let's have a look at how I've set up this device, what each input and output does, and how I'm utilizing this system to go live. So as you can see, my camera one is mounted up there. Camera two is right in front. Camera three is on the side and camera four is what I'm using right now. Utilizing a USB Type-C cable, I've connected the ATEM Mini Controller to my MacBook Pro. I have used a software called OBS, which directly gets my input from the ATEM Mini Controller to my laptop, which now allows me to stream live from my laptop to whichever platform that I require. I've taken an HDMI output from this Blackmagic monitor, which is recording the content from this switcher to a monitor so I can preview on a bigger screen 
on how my videos are changing. Now finally, on my master camera, I have connected a wireless transmission device and connected a wireless receiver directly connected to the ATEM Mini, which allows me to have a camera on board which can move anywhere without having the hassling cables and things strangling around. So that's my setup that I'm using with the ATEM Mini controller. I've got four cameras, camera one, camera two, camera three, and camera four. I can switch all of these directly with this controller if required, I can connect two more stereo inputs, but for this instant, I prefer to have my audio recorded directly to my main camera as I will be still editing this in post. Now is the time that you can run your own talkback shows, but not carry large equipment. All I need is my laptop and this controller and I'm set. Now Blackmagic Design also has an ATEM Mini software, which allows you to control audio and other things. I'm not gonna get in detail with that, but if you wanna have a look at Blackmagic Design's website, you'll find more information about it. Hope you like my setup for the ATEM Mini Controller. I am planning to go live on Facebook and YouTube later in the future to have a talkback show with other cinematographers, producers to talk about filmmaking. Now in meanwhile, please like, subscribe, leave your comments below and tell me how would you use this controller to change the way you go live.